Today we've made important discoveries. We have dug up an ice core, and we are here to report on it. Let's get right to it. I'll show you some photos now. This is the ice core we have recovered. The first layer began 100 years ago and ended in 2026. It contained some odd copper discs. These were believed to have been tokens that were thrown into lakes for good luck. With an increase in riverbed flooding due to increased precipitation, the tokens were deposited into the surrounding land. The next layer ended in 2046. It contained small scraps of paper. The increased number of droughts caused a number of people to flee to the lands of ice. To pass the time, they played games with the small pieces of paper, and they would occasionally cut these off and make burning packets to survive the cold. The next layer ended in 2076. It contained a, a ball of copper wire in this layer. A wildfire spread through the area, which housed an electronics factory. The heat of the fire melted the plastic housing of the electronics, and the wires dropped into the snow. The next layer ended in 2091. It contains an integrated circuit. The remnants of the people who escaped the droughts to make an electronics company had gone insane due to heat-related illness, and they went and destroyed what was left of the factories. The icy chip found was a survivor that dropped into the ice. Layer 5 ended this year, and it contains obsidian. With the raised sea levels, the people began employing new materials to survive. In this case, the few who remained in this area began using obsidian to make tools and weapons. These correlate with EES5 and 8, human impact on the climate, and natural climate impacts. In this chart, we see there are far more areas that have increased in the amount of flooding than areas that have decreased. Judging by the ice core, it is safe to assume that the world is generally not getting better. We have increased flooding, droughts, and illness. I believe that we need to initiate mass climate change programs around the world to halt the effects of climate change before the few of us who remain perish. Thank you.